Hi everyone and welcome to this new Figma tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to create this parallax effect for your landing page using Smart Animate. Let's get right into it. For the parallax effect, we need an image where we can separate the background from the front character. It can be an illustration or a photo. And I got this illustration from FreePic. And I got it for free, so I will leave the link in the description. And then I separate the background from the front buildings using a free tool called PhotoP. It's very cool because you can do almost anything that you can do on Photoshop or Illustrator, but for free. So check it out. Now that we have the images separated, I will create a frame. I will press F, look for MacBook Pro 14. And I mean, you can choose the size that you want. And then I will change the name of this one to home. Then I will move the background image on my frame and I will adjust the size. First, I will center this image and then I selecting my background image. I will press option shift. I press option shift to keep the center position while I adjust the size and I will increase the size to something like this. And then I will do the same thing for my front buildings. I will move it inside. I will keep this right size to the corner and I will adjust the size a little bit, a little bit bigger. And there you go. Now I will duplicate this pressing command D and this second home frame will be the final state of my background. So for this one, I need to adjust the size to the final size. I'll reduce the size of the front buildings to something like this. So it fit inside my frame. And now I will do the same thing for my background. I will press option shift, reduce the size. And since my, since my background is covered by the, by my front buildings, I can reduce the size a little bit more to make it fit horizontally too. And there you go. Now let's connect these two frames using the prototype. Select the first one, connect to the second one. And here I will choose after delay. I will keep this to 800 and the duration of the animation to a thousand milliseconds. And remember to keep it in smart animate. Now I will change the name to this flow to parallax. And let's see how it looks on our prototype. First, I will change this device to none. I don't want to see the frame of the device. And then let's see how it looks. So start like that and it goes to our final state. Let's see it again. If you're liking the video so far, please go at the bottom of this video and click on the like icon. It really helps for the YouTube algorithm and it will only take you one second. So now we basically have the parallax effect for the background and I will create the other elements. I will start with the header and I will do this really fast because it's not actually related to the parallax effect itself. Now that I have the header, I will create the other elements like the main title, the subtitle and the search bar. And I'll also do this part really fast so I don't make you watch me create elements that you already know how to create.
now that I have all my elements, I will copy them to my other frame. So I select Control C, Control B. And since this is my final stage, I want to make sure that everything looks well. Here, I want to move my buildings a little bit to the bottom because they are covering my font. So that looks fine. Let's move it a little bit to the bottom or something like this. This one can move a little bit to the bottom and this one looks good. Okay. So now to add a little more of parallax effect, I want to move these elements. So starting through the header, I want to move the header outside of my, of my frame. But if I move it outside without doing anything else, it will automatically go out of our frame. So to avoid this, when you start moving, press the key space and it will always stay inside of your frame regardless of the position of that element. So for my title, I want to move them to the bottom and I want to move the subtitle a little bit farther to have a nicer effect. In my search bar, I only want a small horizontal effect. So I will just move it a little bit to the bottom. And there you go. I will change the opacity to zero. The same for my title, both opacities to zero. And then I want to move my from buildings on top of my title. So I have a nicer effect here. And here I want to do the same. So select my buildings on top of my title. And I have this effect that my building is on top. But my, of course, my search bar is on top of my building. So let's see how this looks. Prototype parallax. Restart. And looks really nice. So what I will do is to actually leave my search bar for a third step. So I will keep this to zero, sorry, my opacity to zero, and I will keep the position to 505. And now what I will do is to duplicate this one, Control D or Command D and Mac. And I will look for my search bar. Look for the search bar here and I will change the opacity to 100. And here we're going to have our final stage where my search bar will be around here. And so I need to add a prototype here, select the frame, connect to the third one. Again, we're going to use after delayed and this will be a uh, zero delay. I want it to be almost immediately after we get to, to my second frame, I wanted to start the animation for my third frame. So let's see how that looks. Prototype, parallax. Nice. Now we are almost done with the parallax tutorial, but I also want to show you how you can use the scroll animation with parallax. So for that, I will extend my frame number three. And I will create some elements here. Now I have the elements of this new section. Actually, I have a typo here. Should be now trading, not new trading. And I also create an icon for scrolling. So when I click this icon, it will take me to my last frame. Now I duplicate this frame and I want to move everything on my hero section toward the top of my frame for this scrolling animation. So I select my search bar from my title, my background, and then I move them toward the top and I press space so I don't lose them. And now I want to change the color of the elements of my hero so I can see them. I pull them black here, the same thing. I'll put this black and I will add some stroke here and I will change the color to this 
dark blue. Okay. Now I want to move these new elements on the position of my hero section around this. And now I want to add an animation, a parallax animation. So for that, I want to move this toward the bottom and I want to have a different distance for the other one. So I, I move them, press space, move them here. Same here, move them and press space so I don't lose them outside of the frame. And now I want to reduce the side of my frame again. And I will do the same thing here. Now, when I click this icon, I want them to move toward this new frame. And so it will be click smart animate and let's change this to around 700 milliseconds. And now let's see how it looks. So I have this parallax animation. I click here and I have this nice scrolling effect and parallax effect. And that's it for this video. I hope you learned something helpful today and that you can use these parallax effects for your future projects. And if it was, please like the video. And if you want to learn more about product design, Figma and Protopie, subscribe to my channel and see you on my next video. Bye bye.